Welcome to New Possibilities. I speak truth to power without fear. So today I'm going to talk about Kim Burrell. She's a gospel singer. She's come under attack for some rather controversial statements that she made about homosexuality. So I'm going to start off by telling you what she said, and then I'm going to talk about the reaction to what she said, and then I'm going to provide my opinion about this whole situation. So here's what she said. And just to give you the setting, she was at a church before a congregation. She was talking about the affairs of the church. She was not talking about the larger society. She was talking about primarily what goes on inside of the church. And this is what she said. She said, everybody in this room who's filled with the homosexual spirit, beg God to free you. You play with it. What does that mean? You'll die from it. You play with it in God's house in 2017, you'll die from it. And then she went on to say the perverted homosexual spirit and the spirit of delusion and confusion has deceived many men and women. And she went on to talk about various disgusting homosexual acts and she condemned them. And now as a result of making those statements, she's come under fire. She's basically being crucified, crucified by the media, crucified on social media. Uh, she had an interview that was scheduled with Ellen DeGeneres and Ellen canceled that interview because of the statements that Ken Burrell made. And also, Kim Burrell had a radio program that was canceled because of these statements. And from what I understand, Kim Burrell was supposed to participate in some gospel event, and that appearance was canceled as well because of her statements. And I really think that this is probably just the beginning of the backlash that she's going to face because of those statements. And I want to talk about this for a second. First of all, I really think that it is wrong for this woman to be persecuted for her religious beliefs, because that's essentially what's happening here. This woman was speaking to a church about church matters and about church beliefs. Christians, as well as Muslims, as well as Jews, believe that homosexuality is a sin. That's not even debatable. The Bible is clear and the, you know, the verses of the Bible condemning homosexuality is clear. The verses in the Quran condemning homosexuality is clear. The verses in the Torah condemning homosexuality as a sin are clear. So this notion that somehow um, homosexuality is okay or acceptable in mainstream major religions is just false. What we have today in this society is people essentially trying to remix religion. They want a have it your way type of religion. They want a buffet style religion where you take what you want and you leave behind what you don't want. And you can't profess to believe that a book is divine revelation if you believe that some parts of it are true and other parts are not true. So that's the first thing that I want to say about that. You know, I think that this woman was expressing her religious views and she shouldn't be persecuted and blackballed and blacklisted simply for expressing her religious views, especially by Christian groups. You know, for instance, that Bible or um, gospel event and I can't recall the exact information about it. I'll post a link in the description box so that you can read the article for yourself. But no Christian should be condemning this woman for speaking out about what the Bible espouses. If they believe in that book. If they believe in it. And again, you have people that want to remix it, you know, twist and distort religion in order to justify their own personal agenda to justify their gay agenda. That's what's happened. 
And right now what you have is a situation where they have created an environment that's hostile to religion while claiming to be all about tolerance, all about acceptance, but they don't accept religion. You know, they oppose religion they, and they attack religion. Now, in terms of what Kim Burrell said, you know, obviously I think that she could have done it in a better way. You know, I can understand why people would be up in arms if she said something about death and people thinking that she's calling for the death of homosexuals when that's not the case. And she did a response to this controversy where she said she was not calling for the death of people, but it's easy for someone to confuse that because of her words and because of her tone and because of her attitude. And I think that if you want people to be receptive to your message, you need to tailor your message in a more precise and more sensitive kind of manner. You know, that way you can't be misinterpreted. And I think that when people make these kind of speeches, they should do it out of love and concern for humanity instead of out of hostility towards others. They should speak out of love instead of out of hate. They should condemn the sinful behavior and not people. Condemn the behavior and inspire people to abandon uh, bad behavior and adopt, you know, righteousness. But you can't do that when you bash people and when you talk in a blunt and just insensitive kind of way. So I just think that she could have done it better. But, you know, it is what it is. And now she's under fire. And, you know, it's just a, a testimony to what kind of world we live in. We live in a world that condemns righteousness, a world that condemns righteousness as um, as being uptight, as being backwards. They have all kinds of labels for people that call people to righteousness. They have all kinds of labels for them. Anybody knows, like just based on common sense, that men and women were created to reproduce. That's what our organs, our sexual organs are designed for. They are not designed for men to be with men or women to be with women. So, I mean, this world that we live in is wicked. This world that we live in has abandoned common sense and reason for lust and hedonism. This is just the world that we live in. But I'll just add this as well. You know, I don't think that people should have a selective type of righteousness you know, where they condemn one type of wickedness, but they don't condemn others. They condemn homosexuality, but they're not condemning fornication to the same degree that they condemn homosexuality. They're not condemning adultery to the same degree that they condemn homosexuality. They're not condemning, um, you know, abortion, for instance, to the same degree that they condemn homosexuality. And I think that that speaks to a level of hypocrisy. You have these pastors who are um, committing adultery and all kinds of other foul behavior, but you don't see these people speaking out and condemning that, challenging hypocrisy in their church. So I think that that's an issue. I mean, you have people that get on their moral high horse about this homosexual thing but when it comes to these other issues, they not only participate in the stuff and glorify the stuff, they don't criticize it. You know, you have people here on YouTube who do this. You know, you had, I heard this one woman bragging about committing adultery, you know, openly lusting after other men, even though this woman is married. But she wants to get on YouTube and be on some righteous holy roller stuff when it comes to those homosexuals. So I think that that's an issue that needs to be addressed. And going back to the whole point about condemning the sin, but not the people, not the individuals, um, hating the sin and not individuals. You know, I want to make it clear on this point. You know, why I condemn homosexuality as sin 
I don't believe that homosexuals should be discriminated against. I don't believe that they should be targeted and oppressed and all that kind of stuff and subjected to uh, harsh treatment. Because there are some countries where homosexuals can be killed, they can be murdered and stuff like that. In fact, that's a crime punishable by death in some countries. Being a homosexual is a death sentence. And I think that we don't need to you know, embrace that kind of culture of violence and culture of oppression. Just as, um, you know, I believe that the lady, um, Kim Burrell, has the right to express her viewpoints. You know, I believe that the homosexuals had a right to be who they choose to be. I don't agree with it. You know, I believe that people should have the right to speak out against it. But at the same time, you know, I don't think that... Um, discrimination against them is justified or persecution of them is justified. And I think that, you know, that's something that Kim Burrell should have had in mind when she made her statements about death and all that kind of stuff. Because again, it's easy for that to be taken out of context because, you know, it's just a harsh way to speak. Even though I understand, you know, what she's talking about because the homosexual lifestyle is not a a lifestyle that promotes life. It doesn't promote the reproduction of the human species. In fact, it promotes the end of reproduction between human species. When you have two men or two women, they are not reproducing naturally. So that is a form of death. And then when you look at the, the crisis in the community in terms of HIV and AIDS in the black community, that's another problem that needs to be grappled and addressed. And that's another problem that's directly tied to this homosexual lifestyle that needs to be called out and condemned. It needs to be. Again, that's the lifestyle and the, the sinful behavior and not a matter of projecting such outright hatred against individuals. So those are my thoughts about this. Tell me what y'all think. Please rate comment, and subscribe. Peace.